Hey, welcome back to my channel. This is 101 Basic of Brushes. Um, how to use them properly and what are they for. So here you see a different kinds of brands of brushes. So we start with the higher brand ones. This one right here, it's, it's a Sephora collection. It's like a fiber dew brush. This is to diffuse um, powder. It's pretty good so far. I really like it. And this is Too Faced. Oh, I love the color. The, the bow is cute. And the, the brush itself, the powder brush, is really soft. Yeah, I can't stop touching it. It's so soft. It feels good. <laughs> but yeah, I really like the, the design of that brush. It's so, so adorable. I just can't stop looking at it whenever I use it. <laughs> yeah, it's really bad. Um, this one, uh, this other is from Sephora. Uh, you can use it for powder or or blush, and it's I love it. <laughs> I really I love it because uh, I'm always using this one a lot. I'm, I'm using it a lot. Either it's this one or this one. Over here is the drugstore. Brushes and other brushes that you can get online that is pretty much affordable that you could purchase them. Uh, this is from Royal Lagnico. I don't know if I pronounced it right. I'm so sorry, but yeah, these two here are powder brushes. These are like the bigger version and kind of like a medium version, and you can use either one, whatever you feel comfortable using. Uh, if you if you like using big big powder brushes this one is perfect and if you like smaller medium kind of size whatever uh, this one is perfect as well this one uh, you can use it for blush yeah it's only for blush yeah cuz I got confused with this one and this other one but yeah this is for blush and it says that like uh, right here like uh, blush so and they also have the numbers too. But too bad you can't see it because let me see if I could like zoom in. Maybe that would help. Let's see. I don't know if you guys can see that. Well, anyways, let me just move out. This one right here, not this one. Oh yeah, this one. Yes, one. Oh, God, I got confused. <laughs> Uh, this one is you can use it for contouring and also for blush but the um, right here the name of it and the number it says contour but I use it for blush and contouring also like two of them for the two uses uh, I just use it whatever but it, it has like a kind of like a side triangle if you guys can see that, it's like kind of side. Mm, whatever. So yeah, because of the side, it's pretty. It's pretty easy to do the contouring with that. So and also for the cheeks. That's why I like using this brush here for blushes. Yeah, you can see like the pink. It doesn't get off. I try to wash it off like a bunch of times. It's not coming off. Cause it's, it's really old. I had this brush since I was in high school, and this 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 set of brushes, I bought it in Walgreens, and I was getting into makeup. Oh my gosh! When I was in high school, I did horrible makeup on myself. I didn't know what I was doing, but I was getting into it. But yeah, it's really bad now. Looking at this brush and remembering what I did. Oh my gosh. But yeah, I will, I will make a separate video of how I did my makeup when I was in high school. It's horrible. It's really horrible. Uh, but this other side right here, it's um, powder. Yeah, it's like a smaller one. I, I, to be honest, I rarely use it. I just, it's rare that I use that. But anyway, I'm, I mostly use this one right here for the blush and on my cheeks. Alright, so this is the first section of my collection of brushes and what I use them for. And I hope that you guys have a better understanding. And now to the for the last brush. Now this one, 
um, is a really good br br bleh, brush. I can't even talk. God, Lord. Okay, it's from Elf. This one is really cheap. It's a drugstore brush. You guys can afford it. Let me go in the back and see if you can. Yeah, now, nah, because if I go, yep, it will get really blurry. Okay, so this blush, blah, brush, <laughs> goodness lord, what is going on with me? This brush is perfect for blending. Uh, you can use it for foundation, to blend your foundation, and also you can use it to blend um, your contouring. This is really good. Like for a drugstore brush, I, I really like it a lot. It's, it's really good. It, it blends everything perfectly on your face. So for those um, time that you see like your contouring is really harsh and you want it to blend it more, this brush is perfect. Because I used it and it's, uh, love the results, loved it and it's soft, it's just, it's perfect. Jesus. Okay, so this one I bought it in Walmart, I think it was. I think I got it in Walmart. You know, either Walmart or Old Navy. I don't remember. But it, it's not it's not a lot of money. It's you know it's affordable. And for an affordable brush, it does good work, I'll tell you that. So uh, I know that I have some subscribers that have been asking me like what a brush is for and what is the perfect brush for blending contour. Yes, get that one. Cause it's really good and it's affordable. It's not expensive. Oh gosh, your budget will be like saying yes. Get me on with the foundation brushes and the concealer. Ooh, okay, that went well. Me pronouncing those. I've been having problems pronouncing words since I was talking about powder brushes. Goodness, I'm getting aggravated with myself. I'm so sorry. Okay, so we're gonna start with the higher brands. Uh, this one right here is a foundation brush. Uh, it's from Mary Kay. And this one is from... Oh goodness, Lord, don't tell me that you can't see those words. Still having problems with that. Okay, so this is Sigma. It's a foundation uh, brush. I really like it because, you know, the shape of it. Oh my gosh, it gets to to every, like, um, place of your face that you cannot, that's kind of hard to reach. This is pretty easy with it. So it's really good. It's really good. And I really like it. And I use it a lot. This is from Sigma. And Mary Kay um, Punishing Brush is pretty good. But it's very rare that I use it. But it's it's a good brush. This is from Royal. Uh, we're gonna get into the most affordable brushes. This is the Royal. Uh, this is for foundation. And it's kind of weird because I used it for a special effects um, makeup. So it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of like stick together. So, because I use glue with it. But that's a foundation brush. Uh, this one is from Te Technique Brushes. Oh, goodness. I'm glad I pronounced that right. This is from Technique. Uh, Technique brushes this is a foundation this is one other foundation this one I use it to um, if I want to contour with a darker foundation on my face like to make it look natural this is this is one that I use and it's it's really good it's really good because it's so skinny and then that shape of the triangle side it, it helps when doing the contouring with with a darker foundation and if you want like a natural um, contour face, this is good to use. Um, this one is the one that it's really old. Um, the one it's, it goes with the um, with the one that I showed at, at the beginning of the powder with the cheeks, the blush, the one that I have from high school. Yeah, this is one of them that it, it comes in the packaging. It's like three of them. 
uh, this is for this side is for the foundation then this side is for the concealer it's like it's smaller so I use both of them a lot as you can see because it's so old the coloring I can't take it off but it's it's really good it's a good foundation concealer brush I use it pretty much a lot this one's from Technique yay I said it correctly um, this is a foundation it's like a foundation buffing brush um, it's I bought it just to try it out and to be honest I'm not I'm not I'm not saying that it's a bad brush because um, you know to different people it works differently and other people like it and some don't but I noticed that when I use it it's like it, it leaves strokes on my face uh, you know when I'm just you know, to put to apply my foundation so because of that I haven't been using it all, I haven't been using it a lot sometimes I do use it but it's not all the time but yeah this is one technique and it's a, like a foundation uh, buffing brush this one I use it it's like a fibro do brush I use it uh, when you're contouring like with cream brushes um, not cream brushes what am I saying uh, when you're contouring with like with a cream a uh, contour palette this is really good when you're contouring with cream uh, bronzers uh, this is this works really good I'll tell you that it, it works perfectly for that and also for liquid um, this one is good it's always this one I use that for also to do the contouring cream and also I use it for foundation also so it's, it's both uses you can use it wherever you feel comfortable um, this one and this one and this one are the brushes that I use when I do Contouring with foundation, with a darker shade, or the cream um, contouring products. But yeah, this is the foundation section of my collection of brushes. And now I'm going to show you the concealer brushes, my, eye, my eyeshadows, and all those goodies stuff that I really like. My most favorite part. Here are my eyeshade, ugh, my eyeshadow brushes, and my contour brushes. This one is from Sigma. It's like a concealer brush. See the sideways. It's really good because it gets like really like in the edges of your eyes. It gets to the to the spots where you cannot reach. So this is perfect for concealing the under eye. I really do. I, I love using it for my under eye concealing. This is another concealer brush. This is from Sephora. It's, it's big. Just have in mind that there's all kinds of sizes for um, to conceal. So there's all kinds of sizes uh, to conceal the brushes. There's all kinds. This one is like big and long. And this one here is like smaller. This is a concealer brush also. It's like a smaller version of this one but this is from Royal Langnickel um, the this two that I showed over here it's uh, this one's from Sephora and this is from Sigma just like from the higher brands and then this one and this one is like from drugstore the white one this is from Wet n Wild oh these are some good brushes uh, I was really impressed with them for being a drugstore uh, brush makeup this is really good so this is like the larger concealer brush as you can see it's kind of fading the pink area because I use it so much it's that good and this is like the smaller concealer version brush I use this one and this one and I mean a lot <laughs> this brush is perfect to get like um, those glitter shadows um, they're really good because it's, it's flat as you can see it's really it's flat I'm trying to make like a so it won't look so blurry but yeah let me see if you, if you guys can see it better this way see it's, it's like it's flat it's perfect for grabbing uh, glitter eyeshadows 
This one is a eyeshader brush. It's like a smaller one because I have a bigger one. This is from Royal Lung Nickel. See, it's like small. It's not really big, but it's an eyeshadow brush. This is the larger version. It's much more bigger and has more. This is also an eyeshadow brush. This one from Red Rock, from Wet and Wild is bigger, but it's also an eyeshadow brush. But it's way big. This is from Naked 3 palette and you can see like the the flat one and this side it's like it's really good to grab like the glitter shadow of the palette it works really well like for the inner corner of the eye it's really good and then this one is like for the crease and blending it works good as, as well this brush here is from Sephora it's a blending brush you need in your collection a blending brush because when you're doing your eyeshadow um, you need to make sure that, that you're blending properly and this brush helps so try to get it try to get like a, a blending brush but this one is from Sephora I'm gonna show you a cheaper one this is from Wet n Wild it's like a crease brush but I use it also for blending and it works really good for both it's really good so this is really affordable and it's, a, it's it it gets the job done <laughs> and then this is from Royal and Nico it says like it's a um, crease brush and it's, it's good like for crease like use this one for the crease and then when you're done on top of it use the blending brush and your eyeshadow will come out really nice this one is from Sephora it's like a crease smoky eye um, brush I use it a lot I'll tell you that I use it a lot because I really like it like how it blends and works on my crease it's like it's bigger and it has more hair but it's really good it's from Sephora and it's called like a smoky crease no it's pro smoky crease too bad you guys can't see it crap this is from Royal Vanico. This is like a this is perfect to to do like a cat eye. You see the side? It's like a angle eye shader shader. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Angled eye shader. Um, you can see like the side triangle. Yeah, this is perfect to make uh, cat eye makeup. This one is for eyebrows. See you with this side here you can comb your little hairs this one also and this is like for for the powder products of the eyebrows or whatever you use this is yeah this is basic for the for the eyebrows it's like a brush for the to work with your eyebrows but me mainly I don't need it that much because I only use this so I don't need to um, color my or make it like much more noticeable because my eyebrows are natural so it's rare that you see me in my uh, makeup tutorials using any any product for my eyebrows because I just I don't need it and this one is like a smudger for the under eye it's like short and it's, it's really hard because it's like a, it's for you to smudge so, I don't know if you guys can see it. It's kind of coming up blurry. I don't know what's going on. But yeah, this is a smudger. Um, this is from Mary Kay, the smudger as well for the under eye. And then this is from Royal Lanico. It's like it's different. Let me go to the white so you guys can see it. Okay. It, this is like a, like a smudger also, like for the under eye, but it's different. It's like very different from the other brushes. I like using this one better. I really do instead of the other ones it's it's really good it's really good when you want to make like a smoky eye this one is perfect for the under eye um, this one is like a much more precise under eye so that works perfectly if you want to like an under eye um, makeup 
like to be precise, this one is perfect. This is a smudger as well, this is from Sephora, and this is like an eyeliner brush too, which you can use it for, eye, for eyebrows as well. This is a lip brush, I don't know if you guys can see that, yeah now you guys can see it. It's like a, yeah it's a lip brush, I use this a lot when I'm doing a matte lipstick on my lips. This is a tinier eyeliner. It's perfect when you're filling in the eyeliner where you make them line and then you want to color it. This is really good for that. This one is also from Run and Wild. Um, this one is for eyebrows and eyeliner too. And I don't use it that much. I think this one is perfect for eyebrows. And then this one's from Sephora and it's to make an eyeliner too. It's, it's different. It's like a different shape. But it's for eyeliner. And this one's like from the side. It's from Wet n Wild. And this is the eyeliner brush as well. And it's from Royal Line Nico. I use this I use this one a lot in my makeup tutorials. This is um, a eyeliner brush and also you can use it for um, eyebrow as well. So that's all my collection. My eyeshadows and concealer brushes. And then here we see my contouring brush. This is from e.l.f. This is this is a really good brush for drugstore makeup. This is really good. And you will get your contouring just the way you want it. This is a good brush. This is from e.l.f. And I bought it in Walmart. And then this one is from Sephora. It's like a pro contour. This it, with this one you can contour your face and also you can blend it at the same time. So I'll be using um, this one only, and sometimes I use this one. When I'm done using this brush, I go to this one to blend it, the contouring. So I'll be using both of them. Yeah, those are the two that I mostly use all the time. But yeah, this is all my brushes. Um, thank you for uh, bearing with me because I had trouble pronouncing stuff. Goodness, I'm not be sighing a lot and going like uh, uh, because I'm trying to pronounce something it's like so difficult for me. I don't know why. Probably because I'm Spanish, but I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to learn here. <laughs> but if anything, um, just leave a comment below if I mispronounce something so I can pronounce it better next time. And this is one of my requested videos of one of my subscribers. And I hope that it, it helped and that you guys learned something. And uh, yeah, hopefully it helps. <laughs> well, until next time. Bye.